and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be setting up my agenda for my spring semester of my first year of my doctoral program. So the syllabus actually just published and so I was looking at it and instantly grabbed my planner so I can put everything in here and start planning what I need to do and when so that way I have some time to prepare before class actually starts. So my program is set up a little differently so we have two classes each semester and then they're broken out into two sessions so this class is an eight week class um so i'm only setting up for one class and then in march um we have the next class and i'll set up for that next class once this class is over and we get that syllabus so that's how the program it works it's one class at a time two classes a semester um one at the first half one at the second half um, I did add in my older inserts from the last semester. Um, once I could take photos because I realized I didn't share them on my Instagram, uh, my collegiate Instagram. And so I'll have that linked below as well. So if you are a grad student or you're getting your doctoral program or just a student in general, um, I do plan on sharing a lot more this semester than I have in the previous month. And right now I'm just like catching up on posts, but um, I added these in so I could um, share them on there, but this is just how I've been setting up my planner. So I actually started this method this previous semester in the fall and I love it. So um, I just have the week up top. I have anything that's due and when it's due throughout the week. Um, anything important in this this week session. These are inserts from Infinite Lotus. I'll have them linked down below. Um, and I just love them. So I love that I have like my schedule and like keynotes in here, but then I also have a section that I can write whatever I want to write. And so I just wrote down everything that I need to read or any deadlines in here. And I'm going to continue to do that as well, just because I really love the structure of this. I've tried several planners throughout my academic history, and I really like this system, especially for this program. I feel like it works the best at least for right now so yeah just wanted to show y'all how this has been set up and so i'll probably remove those um after this video but for now we'll just keep them in here just in case we need to refer back to them um and then i have a whole new set of these weekly inserts from infinite lotus already in here i also have this today dashboard from cloth and paper that i use so that way i can instantly flip to my week for school and then i can leave any sticky notes on here any memos as well on this dashboard but yeah i'm gonna go through the syllabus and i'm going to add in all of the plans and then show you all the setup i have i think i'm primarily using stickers and paper planning so I have some custom scripts that I purchased from her. So we have class, meeting, deadline, study. So I'll for sure be using those. I also have these I have to do. And then I also have these mini dots. And then I also have these date dots from papery planning that we are going to use in addition to that. So that is everything we are using. And if I grab more, I'll share it as well. But I think this is everything that I've used in the past, so I don't plan on using anything else. And so I'm gonna go through the syllabus and add all of the plans and then show y'all the setup.
So everything is set up for this session. I'm going to start in my weekly overview. So this is all of my um, plans for the entire week, not just related to school. Um, but I did add, we do have a meeting in there. And so whenever there's a meeting for classes, I always put it in my weekly so that I remember it. Um, and then I also added that school starting. So that way, just a little note. And then we move on to my school section. And this is strictly for school. So all of the pages are set up. I did add a second set of date dots. So I'm alternating months and colors. So I have January in the Simply Gray, and then I put February in white. And then I started March off with the Simply Gray. And that way I can see when a month starts and um, ends in that week. I did a similar structure to what I was using previously, but I altered it just a bit. So let me zoom in since there's not that much on this page. So I still have all of my deadlines here. I added when we have our meeting and then I also have a to-do list. Oh, I forgot to put some dots on this to-do list. So I use these dots as little checkoffs and I wanna make sure each one has one. So I have the stone mini dots for larger items. And then for secondary items, I added the um, light gray dots. So that's just for what I need to read. So what I'll do is if I read something one day and read something the next, I'll check it off then. And then once everything that I needed to read for the week is done, I'll check off the read box. Um, I also added my discussion in the to-do list just because that's something we have to do every week and everything is up here too so that way it's in two spots but this just helps me visually see when it, it's going on in the week and then this is just more of the list and then I can add any additional notes as well. Um, after the first week there's an assignment due every week and those are the larger assignments that aren't discussions so I decided to put the discussions under just the weekly and then for the deadline sticker I added those larger assignments since they do change so we have that throughout the weeks and then everything again is in the schedule on based on due date and let me zoom back out so y'all can see everything. But that is just the framework that I used for the session. Um, the syllabus did say we will have more meetings, so I'll add those in as they pop up. But this is everything for my class. So my planner is officially set up and that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.